Barcelona Tac City gathers for remembrance mass as it is revealed baby-faced jihadi travel to Morocco to say goodbye to family before Las Ramblas rampage. Baby-faced terrorist Nassim Kaba traveled to Morocco to say goodbye to his family before taking part in last week's Spanish atrocity, it emerged today. As Barcelona gathered together for a remembrance mass in tribute to the lives lost in the double terror attacks, it was revealed the 17-year-old had spent 10 days in his parents' homeland before the horrific van rampage. A mass was held in remembrance for the lives lost in the terror attacks. Masukaber, 17, was killed by cops in Cambrils. A person is helped by Spanish policemen and two men after a van plowed into the crowd, killing at least 13 people in Barcelona. Ukaber, who posted online two years ago that he wanted to kill the infidels, is thought to have made his farewell trip to Morocco from August 3 to 13. The teen was just one of the terrorists shot dead by police during a second terror attack in the seaside town of Cambrils. Spanish daily Lars incited a police source as saying, given his suicidal profile, he went to say goodbye to his family, a prerequisite to become a jihad hero. At least 14 people were killed and at least 100 others injured in the double terror attacks that left Spain rocked to the core. A mass was held on Sunday morning for those killed in the attacks, with the royals King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia among the hundreds to pay their respects. Crowds were brought to tears during the service, which was held at the city's famous Sagrada Familia a place feared to have been intended as a target by the terrorists. Queen Letizia, who yesterday visited young victims in hospital, stood by the king during the mass. Those attending the mass were encouraged to stay unified. The famous landmark was filled with mourners. Police attended the Sunday Mass in remembrance to those killed. Police outside the landmark, which was used during the Sunday Remembrance Mass. Search for Barcelona terror suspect Yanzaba Uyuk continues in Spain. Many mourners hold vigil in tribute to victims of the Las Ramblas terror attack in Barcelona. Cardinal Juan José Amela, the Archbishop of Barcelona, called for unity, saying, We will overcome fear. He added, The union makes us strong, the division corrodes us and destroys us. It comes as the father of two other terrorists admitted he was baffled by the damage the terrorists had caused. Omar and Mohamed Hachami were killed in Cambrils after the massacre on Las Ramblas on Thursday. Their dad Hakami Ghassi appeared to point the finger at Islamic preacher Abdel Baki S. Said today as he claimed they must have been brainwashed because they were good boys. He told Catalan Daily La Vanguardia from his home in Ripoll, I don't how they could have committed such evil, so much damage. I don't know what they did to my boys' heads. I can assure you they were good boys, normal boys. One worked in an important company in the area called Confersa and the other was a welder in the town of Vic. I don't understand what has happened. I don't know what to feel. They are my sons but look at the evil they have done. Said Ala, 18. Another of the terrorists believed to have been killed in Cambrils, was made class delegate at his school because of the trust and confidence he commanded among his peers, it emerged today. Well-respected Catalan daily El Periodico published a picture of him as a primary school pupil, smiling with a toothy grin as he stood alongside classmates in a blue school top over his jeans. 
a former pupil of at the school of Omar Hichami and Mohamed Lai, 21, from Morocco, who has been named as one of the suspects under arrest after being injured in an explosion at a house in Al Qaena, 125 miles southwest of Barcelona where bombs were being prepared, told the paper, I remember them speaking among themselves in Arabic. We used to say to them, hey, speak in Catalan but always in a jokey way because they never gave us any cause for suspicion, quite the contrary. They were just normal classmates at that time. But now you can't help asking yourself what on earth they were talking about, because of the barbaric things people say they have done. People have been left devastated by the fatal attack. Barcelona paid tribute to the lives lost in heat double terror attacks that killed 14. King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain lay a wreath in Barcelona following terror attack. Today it was claimed the Catalan terror attacks were organized from Syria, using catalyst agents who are now filling the gap left by the current inability of European-based terror cell chiefs to travel to the Middle East to take orders from Islamic state leaders. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the the deadly loss Rambles terror attack. Respected Spanish daily La Reason, citing any terrorist sources, said, an indeterminate number of catalyzers are now in countries like France, Belgium or Germany and their presence in Spain has not been ruled out. What experts have guaranteed is that at least one member of the Los Ramblas cell spoke to one of these individuals who gave them instructions on how and where they should commit the terror attacks. They also shows them how to make the explosive tap that was being prepared, given that the jihadist leaders have discovered that with the manuals and videos that are out there online, people don't learn enough.